Hello friends, this video on wind storms and cyclones part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are introduction, wind, air pressure, thunderstorms, cyclones, tornado and safety measures. Have you ever noticed what happens to the flag when it is hoisted? After the flag is hoisted, what happens to it? The flag tends to kind of fly with the wind. With the moving air, it tends to move from one place to another. So it, it kind of waves. What happens when you leave your hair open and suddenly switch on the fan? So you sit just under the fan and the fan is switched on. What happens to your free hair? Your hair tends to fly and it, it kind of comes over your face and all over it. It's kind of irritating. Now, what makes your hair fly? It's the moving air. It's the wind which makes which I mean makes the hair fly. Try this out. Leave a book open and then keep it under the fan which is on. Switch on the fan and keep this book open just below the fan. What happens? You would see that the pages of the book get turned on their own. So you are not turning the pages. It's just happening on its own. But if there is no wind or if there is no moving air inside the room, that doesn't happen. So the pages remain where they are. But as soon as there is an air or a streak of air which is moving, so the pages also tend to move with the moving air. You must have noticed what happens uh, to your clothes when you leave them to dry in the sun. During windy weather, they tend to fly away. In fact, if you do not clip them properly, they actually fly away with the wind. You keep your window panes open, you would see the curtains of the room flying with the wind. Or even if the window panes are closed, if you switch on the fan inside the room, that also makes the wind curtains wave. You would have also noticed in case you are traveling from one city to another, you would have noticed in midst of, amidst the green vast fields, you would have seen the windmills. So this is how they look like. So fan like structure which keeps rotating like this. And what rotates it? Nobody is standing there to make it rotate. So if they rotate with the wind, whenever there is a gust of moving air, that makes these windmills rotate. And what are these windmills for? Do you know what, what is the purpose of having these windmills? So they are for a very useful purpose. So they help in generation of electricity. So that's how we harness the energy which is present in the moving air or wind. So in this lesson, we are basically going to talk more about wind. So we are going to talk about what is wind, what causes wind to blow and uh, what are the extreme versions of wind. Sometimes wind becomes so violent that it can cause it can cause huge destruction and loss of life as well as property. So we are going to look at all those destructive versions of wind when it becomes that uh, violent and we are also going to talk about the basics like what is wind, what causes wind to flow. So to start with, so even before we start with, when we when we, when we talk about wind, something that comes to our mind immediately is the, the wind which blows just before a rainfall or after a heavy rain. What happens? You would see the trees, the leaves of the trees. In fact, sometimes if the wind is heavy enough, the branches of the tree, the entire tree tends to bend down. So even the slightest movement of air can be noticed in the leaves and branches of plants because the leaves of the plants, they are very light and they get easily moved by a little bit of air which is moving but when the winds become very intense then sometimes it is accompanied by thunder as well as storms they become scary and they are the ones which cause destruction of life and property so let us now learn what causes these natural phenomena like wind storms cyclones etc so before that let us understand what is wind. So based on the examples which I listed uh, in the previous slides, I hope you are not able to understand, you are able to understand what is wind. It is nothing but moving air. So this is the simple definition of wind. So a lot of times people think that, 
I mean, sometimes people are not able to distinguish the distinguish between wind and air. They think both of them sound similar, but actually they are not similar. So when air is static, that is air, which contains a lot of gases, a mixture of gases is air. But when the same air is moving from one place to another, we call it a wind. So wind is nothing but moving air. So think of wind. Obviously, in the nature, you have wind, which we see, which makes the trees move, which makes our hair fly. So even inside uh, a room, you can feel wind, you can feel the movement of air. So if you are sitting quite inside the room, assuming that the fan is switched off. Now, what happens when you switch on the fan? So the free hair which was kept open and which was static, they all start moving now. So the hair tends to get tangled and they get blown by the wind. So what do you understand from this? This shows that air when it is not moving, it is not capable of making other objects move. As you can see here, here air was present around the, this lady, but the air was not moving and therefore it could not make the hair smooth but in the next scenario when the air was moving so that moving air has enough uh, energy to make these hairs also fly with it so that means wind has some sort of energy because of which it can make other objects move and these movements are seen either in terms of uh, turning off the pages of the book or the waving of the flag or the movement of the leaves of trees so those are the various movements and they are all caused by wind. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.